Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi there capricorn this is shah from charlie's angel tarot and welcome back thank you my cyber angels for being faithful and for anybody that is landed here new welcome to this channel and please enjoy the general reading and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified by YouTube make sure that your device has accepted YouTube or given YouTube permission to notify you I forgot to say that in the introduction the first card that you have is the nine of ones the nine of ones and here you can see a lady leaning on a stick bruised uh, and battered and tired and despairing and this means that she has fought all her way up to now where she is and she's taking a rest and what I'm saying here and what I'm seeing here as well don't give up because the nine is also an ending and the new beginning is around the corner you might be resting up and thinking contemplating on what is the next step and where you want to go you have really been resilient it could have been through nine days to nine months or longer but there's only one more step to go look at this this is a different color than all the other steps so you're taking a rest and contemplating on what step to take next now I'm going to put them up like that I hope you can still see them perhaps I should spread them out like this then you can see the new cards a little bit better and now we're going to the cardomancy and we've got the ace of hearts here and the man as number 28 is the man card and it's the ace of hearts so you might have battled with a man right it could have been uh, the king uh, or rather it could have been um, cancer Scorpio or Pisces that you've been battling with because it is a water sign but it's also a new beginning where there is an ending there is a new beginning and this is confirming that the new beginning is here this could be a new love um, with a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces or any other man really um, but remember this is a general reading so if you have been fighting with a man or squabbling with a man then the end is near either the arguing has stopped and you've settled your differences and um, or you might have met a new man it could be a water sign or it could be a fire sign since we have the fire sign here but if it is general then yes you've had difficulties perhaps in your love relationship with a man or your partner as I also believe there are the same sex relationships and yes one is the female and one is the masculine more masculine that's why I love cards because they're not a re discrimination discriminative uh, or discriminating um, or a racist so you could and let's just keep it to the partner for those that it is concerns a man uh, you could have been having difficulties with a man or with your masculine side as well but there is an ending because 28 is a 10 so again new beginning this could be a new beginning in love because you finished with an old love and you have been bruised you have been hurt um, but you have pulled through 
and you've taken your time out before you started a new relationship or passion as the heart stand for love passion nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality you know as well as I do that passion doesn't last it is steady love that lasts but this could be a new beginning since it's an ace of a long-lasting love beautiful then we go to Wednesday and in on Wednesday you have the elder now you can't most probably can't see the key in the book but we you sh we have a key here in the book and at the elder is the spiritual being in the clan okay he's the shaman he's the hierophant or the high priest he is somebody that knows the letter of the law he is a um, head of an institution or a municipality he can marry people perhaps this new love um, you're taking into a next step that could be the new beginning as all the troubles have gone and you might be getting married you might be seeking an advice from a spiritual advisor this could be a priest but this could also be an official at the registry office they have the wisdom look at the owl they have the knowledge they represent the municipalities institutions or a professional advisor or even a father figure a mature man that you respect so you might be seeking advice um, on how to get married but if it is a uh, trouble then you might seek advice about a divorce or separation it is definitely more business-like um, in some respects because the man stands for business and doing the business if you are a lady then this could be you um, your masculine side could be coming out and you need proper professional advice with regards to bookkeeping or tax returns or something like that I'm trying to read all the different ways in a relationship and uh, because I'm getting so many messages or business like or work like we have the king of um, the king of spades here so again a man this is really up till now a quite masculine reading this is the king of spades so that is a Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius but the king does represent Gemini anyway it is a masculine air energy and you are creative the Gemini's are creative as you've got 33 you we are being creative that is the cartomancy side of this Lenormand deck and you've got the lilies the lilies means at an advice from a mature man again a businessman this could be a man of profession municipalities institutions much like the elder or it could be a father figure or a mature man that you respect okay luck in business and at work that is what the lilies also mean then on I'll just do it a little bit like this so that you know what card we have had and we can see all the cards in a minute then we have the Queen of Wands midsummer so yes it is midsummer at the moment as we are in um, Leo and we're going into Virgo so this could be a Leo lady coming up and the Queen of Wands does represent Leo she's a determined lady and she knows what she wants she's beautiful she um, is clear logic she's very logical creative she is full of passion and like I said last week all the cards showed passion passion and action in August in Leo and again the energy is still here so some of you might be as active as the Queen of Wands 
you are going for what you want at no costs okay she's very stubborn and she knows what she wants and she goes for it so this could be a Leo but don't um, exclude Aries or Sagittarius there's no stopping her and if you do meet a lady of fire she's full of passion okay so make sure that you know your boundaries and let her know your boundaries know her boundaries so that it can grow into a fully fledged relationship because we've got the ace of hearts here now you've got the ten of hearts here happy families so if some of you have been through difficulties and you've been separated them and we've got the man here and we've got the man here and we've got the queen here there could be coupling up and you're seeking advice perhaps a ma marriage guidance counselor as you've got the ten of hearts an ending and a new beginning happy families the hearts is the cups again happy families ultimate emotional fulfillment happy happy times reunions gatherings celebrations beautiful that could be with the queen of fire or even if you have fire in your chart the elder represents that's the high priest that's a Taurus he represents Taurus so don't forget we have the ace of hearts here that could be any man a water sign any water sign we've got the fire sign here but not a person but still it's coming back could be the Queen of Fire, Leo, Virgo, Gemini, don't ex uh, Gemini, Gemini, but also any other uh, air sign. Then the weekend card we have the Death, so we've got Scorpio here as well. Death represents Scorpio. You're in a transformational period, like I said you might be reconciling with the ten of cups the ten of hearts you have put your differences beside you because you seeked advice from a marriage guidance counselor or a spiritual counselor this could be a priest but it could also be anybody else it could be also anybody else but it's very spiritual uh, authoritative working loving relationship so it could be a quarrel with somebody uh, that you have a partnership with in work that it could be a Leo and they are more determined than you uh, or you might be a Leo and you want more things happening in this working relationship or in a romantic relationship and it's going through transformation every relationship all our lives and friendships go up and down so you're in a transformative re, um, period you're no longer the caterpillar or the relationship is no longer the caterpillar you're becoming the butterfly a new beginning now let me move this along so that you can see all the pictures okay and then we have the book and the book means th uh, that you might not know certain things and now you do because it, it's come to pass you've come back together again and you've transformed the situation into positiveness and you've got the one two three four ten of diamonds here so like I said it could also be a working partnership that it could have been arguments about money and you wanted to invest it and they didn't but or they did secretly secretively because the book means secrets things that you don't know and you've done the research you've asked the knowledge this could be a bookkeeper and he said ah oh, well the money has been invested in such and such and such that is what your partner told me and now you're getting the return you've got 26 which is the 8 the power of money and the power of the house of power and money so money will be coming that's why there will be celebrations 
the ten of diamonds and the ten of hearts so fulfillment financially materially and emotionally is yours amazing or you might be starting a new study amazing okay now now I'm going to go first of all to the Avalonian card and we've got moon for moon of germinating or germination so expect a birth here you see a baby is still on the navel string and here you see a new fish spawning new life I think it's beautifully put together now I'll go into this quite extensively so if you are bored or fed up with this then just click through and, um, and we'll get to the other cards in a minute these cards we are with full information now the diff uh, the I won't go into the myth but I will go into the card description and that this card is deep in the womb waters of Lynn Tegeth a babe with a shining brow awaits rebirth holding a sprig of, of fervain he is safe and protected in the maternal waters of the Seret winds lake above him leaps a salmon a powerful Celtic symbol of wisdom you see how magical these cards are that I didn't know that okay then the key words are enlightenment, rebirth, potential, renewal, shifted, perspective, deep wisdom and creativity. Now we've got creativity here with the with the uh, queen. Um, we've got the uh, rebirth or transformation or renewal after enlightenment, the book. This is so magical. There you go. shifting of uh, perspective asking guidance and that's these two cards deep wisdom that's the king of swords the king of um, spades now I'm just going to put that down because I can't do two things at the same time now there is an affirmation I am reborn with each breath and transformed with each choice to live from my sacred center and not from the fears that only limit me I embrace the limitless potential of all that I am and all that I can become so there might be a second chance like I said there could be a reconciliation right beautiful you are getting trying to get everything out of a situation you're trying to get the knowledge to um, bring this situation to an end and a new beginning beautiful this is really amazing stunning then we have TLC for the soul nourishment and nourishment can be food nourishment can be vitamins nourishment is getting wisdom the books are out here pro a big time seeking knowledge new study that is also nourishment for the soul are you tempted to rush from one thing to another out of breath and underfed at times the body does its most demanding tasks with simply too little nourishment hunger must be satisfied thirst quenched life is lived through this intric intricate sacred body your purpose can be known only through the clarity of awareness you experience when you your basic outer needs are met your inner beauty can more easily felt when you have been nourished with care 
Well, care, nourished with care, you've got the Ten of Cups. We all need love. Also, ten, tending lover care for our soul. We need love, we need food, we need knowledge, we need a little bit of everything. Remember, the word too has just come to me. The word too little or too much will throw you out of balance. So take time out if you're busy, 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 too active. Take time out, otherwise you will feel sick and battered and abused. It is up to you, yes, it is up to you to take time out. So there is your task at hand. Open yourself up to potential. Use the affirmation, sitting quietly. I've put out a video out there, meditation. Just sit there and it let the white light come into the crown chakra and if you know anything about the chakras just follow the chakras or if you've experienced the meditation healing sessions on the life then use that use the breathing system and relax I've had so many good re um, reactions on that video it makes people fall asleep and yes your body body also needs sleep nourishing for rejuven uh, sleep for rejuvenation that is also nourishment. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and uh, I really hope you will have a fantastic week and take time out. Think a little bit more about yourself. That will stand you in good stead in every day to day life and also in your love life. If you ta take nourishment and you take time out and tend the loving care for your soul and your body, you will beam. You will be the beacon or the magnet to attract somebody else. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and God bless.